So how to measure using your tape rule. So here I have my tape rule and I've already explained how to read a tape rule before. So you're actually going to be using the centimeters. All right, so mine has two sides and most of the time everybody's one has two sides. So the inches is like this and then the centimeters has a lot more lines there. So how you measure, especially when you're measuring, you measure from the start of your tape and you use that will be your zero up to where you want to measure. So for example, I want to measure a length of 13 centimeters. I would measure from where this is and I'm going to stop here. Now most of the time when you're measuring on your body, you don't know the exact measurement. So you just place this tape wherever you want to start from and you will just stop wherever. For example, you're measuring from shoulder to bust. So let me just use my mini mannequin to sort of show you that. Alright, so this is the mannequin and I am actually just going to show you. So ignore the dirt because then it's stored somewhere. So I want to measure the bust. You know, you are going to measure around, coming around, making sure to measure that accurately and you know like that so wherever that um stops is where you are going to stop measuring i hope that is clear enough so wherever that stops so for example you want to measure the length of something maybe from the shoulders down to the bust this is where the bust is all right so you just measure that and wherever that stops so here is about 6.5 all right measuring to the waist there'll be an elastic tied here you stop there and so on and so forth so again for example you want to measure around something you just place it around like this and wherever your tape and the um wherever the tape and the the metal part of the tape and the and the other part intersects that's where you're going to stop so it's pretty much easy like that. The first thing you will do is to tie an elastic cord around your waist. Please make sure it's an elastic cord, not just any cord. And how you will find your natural waist, tell your client or you yourself bend to one side and the part that, that naturally dips in, tie a cord around there. So you are going to measure around that cord because that is your natural waist and you are going to make sure that measurement is as firm as it can be. The next thing is to measure around the fullest part of your hip like this and just wiggle it up and down like this. So I need you to note something here. So I'm wiggling it up and down and when I get to the part where I realize it's the fullest, I take that measurement and then I put my hand there and I measure from the waist to that point I put my hand which is the waist to hip. The next set of measurements, you can take it all at once so you can bend down or if you're taking it yourself, use a mirror, your waist to knee, your waist to ankle and your waist to floor. So you just take this um, all at once. The next thing is to determine where you want your trouser waist to be. So when you found that measurement, take it and then you would measure around your trouser waist. So mine is usually seven centimeters below my natural waist. For some people, it's less than that. Even if the person wears their trousers on their natural waist, always measure downwards and then you can adjust it to a high waist trouser later. The next measurement is your thigh. So tell your client to stand on one toe on their toe like this, on their toes like this rather, and measure around the upper thigh very close to the crotch area. Make sure it's firm but not too tight. Measure around the bent knee. You can see that as she's standing on her toes, her knees are bent. And at this point, you would take the ankle measurement and then around the heel of your foot, which is around the back heel, which will be your foot entry. So the next measurement is your crotch depth. So sit on a hard chair and measure from the rope to your chair, which is your, you know, from the waist to the chair. And to measure the crotch length, put your tape passing under the crotch and you're going to measure from where the elastic is in the front, passing under the crotch to where the elastic is at the back. So make sure it is firm and tight. It has to be very snug and comfortable and you know, it's not slacking anywhere. This is a very, very important measurement and this is your crotch length. Don't confuse it for crotch depth. This is your crotch length. 
the next one is important for vertical trunk so you need a long tape and i'm using my 120 inch tape at this point this is a measurement i use for um my jumpsuit and you are going to measure all around passing under the crotch from shoulder under the crotch to the other shoulder and i told my client to put a hand under our under bust to make sure that we're getting the same measurement and i told her to bend and tell me if she was comfortable or not and that is all the measurements you need